Welcome to my channel, The King Leeway. My name is King, and today I went to Jollibee's. Yeah, so today I'm going to do a little preview of Jollibee's. You know, do my basic mukbang, and I'm going to talk about things that are going on in the Philippines. Why not? It'd be a good segment to mix together. So, before I start, yes, I got myself the peach mango pie. That's, yep, I usually get that if I ever eat Jollibee's. Of course, they give you gravy, because what is the gravy for? The chicken and spaghetti. Now, I could have got the hamburger steak, the yum burger, but now, and of course, you can get tons of white rice. But I was like, no, I don't want to get tons of white rice in that situation. Yeah, that's just like the big thing in the Philippines. White rice, white rice. <laughs> Unlimited white rice. When you go to Maginasaw or all these other places, or you go to Wings, Unlimited rice. <laughs> yeah. I love rice, but I like to mix it up with brown rice, mashed potatoes. So, you know, <laughs> I kind of, kind of get sick of it too. So I usually buy brown rice at times. So yeah, but in the Philippines, they love their white rice. An abundance of it. <laughs> so, let's get down and let's start eating. You, The one thing I do like usually is the spaghetti. So I'm big on the spaghetti. So there you go. So I'm gonna test out the spaghetti. That's the one thing I did like when, when I ate at Jollibee's. But I really didn't eat Jollibee's as much as possible in the Philippines. Cause if you, for those that been to the Philippines, there's a Jollibee on your left, Jollibee on your right. There's a Jollibee if you turn around and there's a Jollibee if you look a hundred yards down. There's a jolly bee almost like on every block in the Philippines. Just like having three 7-Elevens right next to each other in Thailand. <laughs> so yeah, let me mix this up. So they already got cheese in here, but I have Parmesan cheese if I want to add some more to it. Let me taste this. This is not too... Yeah, I've, I've never been disappointed with the spaghetti at Jolly Bees. That's probably the one I really like eating the most. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it still tastes the same. Sometimes it might be even a little bit better in the States. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Just like in Thailand, it's fork and spoon. Or if you're eating rice. You eat with your hands. Usually use a plastic. I probably told this situation before because, you know, some places or some times when I ate, you know, a lunch or dinner with a Filipino family in a province, yeah, they'd be using their hands or the rice. And I remember talking to one friend of mine who's a Filipino that works in Korea. He was talking about yeah, the kids used to make fun of him because he couldn't eat rice with his hands because, you know, his family was just a little more wealthier in his area. So, yeah, he goes, yeah, they used to make fun of me because I'm used to using fork and spoon. That's usually the norm in the Philippines. So, fork and spoon. All right. Ooh, yeah, I'm happy with the spaghetti. Mm. That has that distinct taste like I'm used to. Mm. Yeah, it was kind of nice. Because <laughs> if any of you have been to the Philippines, you usually get this. Hello, sir. Hello, mom. And I was like, oh, I feel like I'm back in the Philippines. And by the way, I went next door to Seafood City. So it was kind of that feel too. I was like, hey, I feel like I'm back in the good old, it's more fun in the Philippines. 
So yeah, it's kind of nice. I wanted to exchange for some pesos today, but all the places were closed inside of uh, Seafood City. So yes. And remember, this Jollibee's is in America. So you Filipinos that ever come to America, they have Jollibee's. Especially here on the West Coast. Because why? We have tons of Filipinos that live here. So yeah, you're going to be right at home. Either speaking Tagalog or even Visayan. But most of the times I hear more soft Tagalog. You know, I don't hear the angry Visayan yet. <laughs> so when I hear someone like speaks Visayan and it's a little loud or angry, I'm like, yep, she's from the Visayas or he's from the Visayas. <laughs> But sometimes, yeah, there's this little rivalry in the Philippines. Like, you know, in Manila, they speak Tagalog. Or like, and then in Cebu, they speak Visayan. And then they, I don't know, they like look down on each other. It's like, oh, you're Visayan, eh, Tagalog. You know, just for general, not everybody. So, yeah. So if I hear a little angry Vis language come out, I'm like, yep. Yeah. But there's a good chance it's a Visayan language. Pila, 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 blut. <laughs> so yeah. Pila is like, how much? Uh, pila, 20, 20 pesos. Okay, yeah. Yeah, don't try to speak Spanish there. They don't speak Spanish there. Even if they have Spanish last names, they usually don't speak Spanish there. Even if some of the things are same, like days of the week, and familia or familia, those are some of the same words. Unless you go to Mindanao and go to Zamboanga, they speak Spanish there. So I wanted to go test that out so I could maybe speak some Spanish in Zamboanga. But they always tell you, be careful going to Mindanao so you don't get kidnapped over there. <laughs> but yeah. Like the Cagayan del Oro, Davao, you know, those Mindanao Island, that's pretty safe. Davao used to be, or Davo, I gotta pronounce it right. Uh, that's where President uh, the Dirty used to be the mayor there. Mm. Mm. I'm liking the spaghetti. That was the only thing I liked that, once again, sorry to repeat myself, I love the spaghetti at Jollibee. That was the only thing I liked. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, as I, you know, keep track on some of my guys that I met in the Philippines, the expats. Yeah, what's going on in the Philippines? You know, they do have kind of like a, a quarantine lockdown, but not a complete lock lockdown. So what it is, is they have a curfew from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. or 8 p.m. to 3 a.m., depending on which neighborhood, province, or barangay you're staying at. Like, the guys I know in Cebu City, they actually stay in condos, so they get a pass. So usually they can go out and go get essentials, pharmacy, supermarket, bank, etc., etc., Whatever lies under essentials. But yeah. But really sitting down or doing anything is not happening over there. <laughs> so actually it's a little bit worse over there than here. Where we don't have a uh, martial law curfew at 8 p.m. We can still go out and get stuff, you know. I can still leave my pad if I like here in the States. But we'll see. So we'll see what happens. Hmm. Now, here's the big chicken breast. There you go. I'm gonna bust out the gravy. See, yep, that's the norm. Most Filipinos, when they order a meal, almost every place, even like even the Western places, they all got chicken, they all got gravy, they all got rice. <laughs> that is always on the menu wherever I go. 
nine out of ten times. So it always cater to the local palate. Yeah. So there we go. Drip this in gravy. Yeah. So you got the gravy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, the cost of this meal, so I got the one-piece chicken and the spaghetti special and a soda. That cost $7.49. And then I got the mango pie, $1.99, uh, with uh, L.A. County sales tax of 9.5%. It comes out to ten thirty-eight. So just over 500 pesos. Now, I don't recall that I would be paying 500 pesos in the Philippines for what I just bought. Maybe I'd be paying 300 pesos. I'd be paying less in the Philippines for this stuff. But I really don't eat Jollibees. Unless, you know, my friends say, I want to go to Jollibees. But usually, like, most of us local expats, we rarely go to Jollibees. Yeah, I've never even ate at Jollibee's with a lot of my expat friends, you know. We easily go somewhere else. We want to go get something Western or go to Landers or SNR and go get that huge pizza, you know, the good old stuff. Or even some steak or Korean barbecue. So I usually do that for uh, when I'm over there since I eat lots of Korean barbecue. <laughs> So I kind of know hmm, how it works. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, here we go. More gravy, more chicken in here. Hmm. 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 But yeah, I missed a pre, you know, situation Philippines where we didn't have all that lockdown or pre anything these days. We need them go hang out. I don't realize how much is a how much of a privilege it is to just hang out with somebody, man. Oh yeah. All right, time to eat some more chicken here. Yep. So this is the common thing in the Philippines: jollibees. <laughs> it is always the go-to meal. So when I have friends that help out at orphanages, they always buy Jollibees. <laughs> yep, Jollibees is the meal. So sometimes that's why I don't go to Jollibees too often because when I have a get together with other friends, they want to go to Jollibees. So I was like, yep, okay, go ahead and order it. It'll be the one time I'll eat it. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of enjoying it because I'm not in the Philippines. If I was in the Philippines, I would just walk by Jollibee's. <clears throat> you know. Because uh, there's other options there, especially in IT part. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep, so too many lock now. Mmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm almost getting there. I want to make sure I can finish the pie. Yeah, I did get some groceries from Seafood City. So, plus I didn't realize that they are now open in Canada. Yeah, so, because, you know, we still have a lot of OFWs 
And for those that don't know what OFW means, Overseas Foreign Worker, or we call it Overseas Filipino Worker. And yeah, there's a lot of them in Canada. Yeah, but as per se, I know there is no seafood city in the Philippines. I have not seen it. It's mostly based in the United States and Canada. I don't know if there's in another country, uh, you know, seafood city. Jolly bees were starting, they're starting to expand all over. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, we were doing a little social distancing today at Jollibee's. Yeah, it took me 30 minutes to get my food. So I had to sit outside and wait. Hmm. All right. I'm done with that one. I'm gonna save this gravy for tomorrow. So I already killed this one. Now I do like the mango peach pie. That was the other one I really like. Yeah. I mean, paid 500 pesos for this. <laughs> I already got two meals for 500 pesos in the Philippines. <laughs> well, that's why it's really cheap in the Philippines. That's where most, you know, Filipinos like to eat Jollibees. Yeah, look at this mango pie, peach pie. So, yep. Mmm. 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 That's pretty good. Huh. Yeah. That's the one dessert I like. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Ooh, jolly bees. I kind of like it now because I don't I don't have access to it as much, you know? When you don't have access to something, you kind of like, okay, I want to do jolly bees. Plus, I, it was requested by my girlfriend, too. So, finally got around going to jolly bees. Yeah. So... Yeah, this is, I think this is the second time ever that I ate at this Jolly Bees in the San Fernando Valley. So for those, uh, Jolly Bees is located off of Woodman and Roscoe. And Seafood City is right next door to it. And next to it, they got a Chow King. I'm not a big fan of Chow King. I've ate there before in the Philippines, but I was like, eh, it's okay. I would just... But if you had to put a gun to my head, I prefer uh, Jollibee's over Chow King. Or I like Dim Sum Break next door, but there is no Dim Sum Break. You got a lot of Dim Sum stuff you can get inside there. They have like a thing called Grill City and all the uh, seafood cities. So yeah. And for you Filipinos, you know, um, if you become an OFW, you come here to Los Angeles. Yeah, inside... Uh, some of the, not all seafood cities, some of the seafood cities, they do have like a remit international. You can exchange your pesos over there. I wouldn't do it at the airport, but if you can come to, you know, a trusted place with your fellow Filipinos or come to seafood city, you can exchange uh, your pesos for dollars. I was trying to do that today, but I 
it was closed, so I was a little too late. So I might have to go back tomorrow and hopefully catch them and make sure they have some pesos. Because <laughs> I wanted to do a video about the Philippine stimulus package. <laughs> so we'll see. That's if I can get there tomorrow and do it. So we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. 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 That's right. Peach mango pie. Mm-hmm. Probably on my next mukbang, or if, depending on how I feel, I'll probably make some shrimp lumpias and cook some of the marinated pork that I bought at Seafood City, and I'll do another one of those since, you know, it's nice to go to seafood. See, I might go back tomorrow and pick up something else over there and just, you know, enjoy as much as possible. So, yeah. So, yep, I killed it. Jolly Bees. I don't think I'm going to eat Jolly Bees again till maybe I get to the Philippines and my friends are like, let's go to Jolly Bees. Okay. <laughs> so, that's how it's going to be. Alright, so if any of you enjoyed any of this content, please like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon for future videos, and wherever you are in the world, stay safe and have a great day. Bye!